The reason you can win House seats is because that's so localized, but you can't win the national because you can't go to California. There are people in Pennsylvania, I guarantee you, that have no idea who was even running for the United States Senate that voted. <laughs> no, it's true. Like, of course. Because you could not listen. If you listen for five seconds to anything John Fetterman, you said, okay, he's clearly unfit for office. It's, it's like, that's not like, you don't have to be a doctor to be like, maybe there's something wrong. The Democrats knew he had these issues, and they ran him anyway. By the way, they had someone who I probably don't agree with on anything, but was like, at least like, able to function, maybe not quite as radical, Connor Lamb. They could have ran him, but they knew even in the primary that this guy had these issues, and they ran him anyway because they want a radical extremist that wants to release murderers. And this is the party of the left today. Right? There are still incredible, great, moderate Democrats in America, but they have no one representing them. Because you can't win if you don't espouse the lunacy of the left today. You can't get the California, New York, Soros money, whatever it may be, and win. You see, the prosecutor just this week, who misgendered a biological male in San Francisco, I guess it was, and Soros funded George Gascon, punished this prosecutor for misgendering a child rapist. The child rapist doesn't really need the punishment. The prosecutor who misgendered him is the one that needs to be taught a lesson. That is America under Joe Biden. That is America under Democrats. That is an America that none of us recognize, and it's an America that's gonna stay that way if we don't fight back and say enough is enough. So guys, that's our message, right? We need a president that is not owned by other people, right? There's a reason the billionaire class, even the billionaire conservative news class, wants someone other than Trump. It's because they want someone that needs them to take their call. You know, there's a lot of the billionaire class, even on the Republican side, it's like, yeah, we're really hard on China, but like, don't be that hard. Like we still want our widget for a quarter cent cheaper and we'll destroy the American middle class to do so. Make no mistake. Okay. I want the guy that doesn't need to take that call, that isn't entirely beholden to them, that is showing up to speak to the people, not showing up to speak to those who would rather go much softer on China we didn't need this job to begin with. My father certainly didn't. It was a lot easier to shut the hell up for me and be a real estate developer from New York. Unfortunately for the Democrats and many rhinos. <laughs> and, ma and many. That is not our style. So guys, don't forget to vote in the CPAC poll, but most importantly right now, vote with your wallets. Support those who are supporting you. Help them engage in the battle for our future and for our very existence. Because if you don't think that it's on the table, you have not been watching. Thank you very much, CPEC. You are the best. Okay.